I'm Colby Melton, SDI student enrolled in FTH 223 hammer fired pistols. Uh, my professor is uh, Professor Nagy. Today's date is June 22nd, 2024. And this is uh, my week four or module four assignment. Here we have the PSA dagger from uh, the last course, the striker fired pistols. Uh, this is what we're using for this assignment. I have it in a holster. It's not its holster, but it is a holster. Uh, the magazine is out of the weapon and it is clear. Uh, there's nothing in the magazine well and no rounds uh, digitally or physically, nothing in the, uh, the chamber. Additionally, there are no uh, live rounds in the workspace. And um, for this assignment, we are going to uh, install, or I'm gonna install this uh, mass driver compensator onto this uh, PSA, uh, PSA dagger. Mass driver compensator. Contents of the box. Step one, with the pistol cleared, we're going to strip it. We're going to go ahead and remove the, uh, the recoil operating rod assembly. Step two, we're going to insert the, uh, the insert into the slide. Use gravity to hold it in place. Step three, we're going to place the... Uh, operating rod into the uh, spring um, that was provided. Hold it in place and uh, place it into the, to the slide. Step four, we're gonna add some Loctite to the uh, end of the threads. Some blue Loctite, not a lot, just a little. Step five, we're gonna put the uh, compensator on the end of the pistol uh, slide. Uh, step six, we're gonna insert the internal spring. Uh, next, we're gonna place the, the guide rod nut into the uh, end. And then using our provided Allen wrench, uh, we are just going to Tighten that up till it is tight. There it is. Use the other end. It doesn't have to be overly tight, just, just tight. There it is. Uh, the Loctite should do some of the trick. Uh, you can back it off a little bit, retighten it to work the Loctite in there. With the uh, compensator on the end of the slide, we're gonna go ahead and uh, place it back on uh, the uh, slide back on the, the frame. And there we have it. Part two of the assignment, we're gonna perform a dry functions check. Uh, slide catch catches it to the rear, it goes forward. Uh, work the slide a couple of times, no binding, no issues. I will go ahead and fire it. Uh, hold the trigger to the rear, cycle it, uh, hear the trigger reset. Uh, once again, we'll do the same, uh, fire it, but this time we won't cycle it. We'll just look for the trigger reset. Trigger safety still works. Um, and the empty magazine locks the slide to the rear and the release overrides the, uh, the follower on the uh, magazine. Uh, dry functions check is complete. Part three, this is a guide rod mount, uh, mounted compensator, SDI Lesson 7, uh, Module 4 lecture. Uh, this particular design attaches uh, via an operating rod assembly. Uh, since the compensator does not attach to the barrel or slide, it will not reduce the uh, felt recoils matches some other designs. However, the design with its uh, baffles and uh, chambers uh, does redirect the, and use the gases exiting the muzzle behind the projectile to drive the non-recoiling components of the pistol forward uh, to reduce the pistol whip and felt recoil. Additionally, the added length and weight at the end of the pistol should also aid in its task of keeping the pistol on target for follow-up shots. Part 4, uh, pros and cons of a compensator and how they might affect the average uh, firearms operator. Pros. Number one, less felt recoil. This could help uh, tame a snappy or high-powered pistol. Uh, two, counter, uh, counters or reduces the overall rearward movement of the pistol during firing. Uh, lastly, the added weight of length uh, and, and recoil reduction reduces the upward whipping motion at the end of the pistol. 
uh, for a shooter, uh, both the reduction in rearward movement and uh, stabilization of, at the end of the pistol helps the average operator to stay on and reacquire the target to take quicker follow-up shots. Cons. The added length of the pistol can make it uh, harder to operate in tight spaces. Second, the uh, baffles and chambers are acceptable to debris, making the pistol less reliable in tactical situations. And number three, uh, the added length of the, uh, and weight can uh, make it harder to conceal and or possibly carry. Additionally, uh, you just are going to have to get a, a larger uh, holster if you plan to carry in a holster. And this uh, concludes the assignment.